Welcome back. In this lesson, we are talking about resin printers, and I just got an Elegoo Mars Pro. And so for that, they give you this free software, ChitubeBox. And so let's go ahead and bring in our design. So I'm not going to bring all of them in because the build plate for these printers are usually pretty tiny. So it's very small here. So I'm just going to bring in a few. So we'll open up and go to our STLs folder. And I'm just going to bring in a few. So since we named them all, I can quickly see what we have. I'm going to bring in maybe the Voronoi, hold control, maybe bring in the Remesh, and maybe the sculpted one. So these are going to be huge, but we can just scale them on down. So let's just take all of these and go to scale over here. And we can just scale to fit. Click on this one, scale to fit, and click on this one and scale to fit. And we may even need to take them smaller. Let's go to like control A, select all, do scale. And let's just say like 50. I may even have to go even smaller than that, maybe like 40. Yeah, that might work. Okay, so then we can rotate on the Z axis 45 degrees like that, somewhere in here. And now we can just click on these monkeys and for some reason they're all, oh, because we selected them all, so I'll just control A to deselect. And now we can just move these monkeys around and place them where we want. You can also, another quick way you can do, if they're all kind of random, you can just do this arrange and that will arrange them on the center or the X side or the Y side. We want the X side. So it's just putting them down the X axis. And again, they're still a little too small, so I'm just gonna kind of spread them out here. The, you can see here the ear is clipping off, so we'll just bring it on in, and we can get them pretty close. And there we go. So now we've got some resin 3D printing happening, and what's cool about the resin printer is it's gonna get all these crazy tiny, tiny, tiny little details. Pretty much everything you see here is going to appear on these prints. So for these, you could add uh, supports and platforms and rafts and all that. Uh, but for the way we designed it, I'm just going to keep it off, you know, just remove off all that. And let's go back to our regular uh, tab here and let's slice them up. So for this one, instead of melting plastic, it's actually like a resin um, liquid plastic almost. And the printer will shine light onto the the resin and cure it. I mean, notice that our models are full. So it's gonna be solid plastic, except for this one here. And it's just gonna do layer by layer by layer until it eventually creates the entire model. And so if you look down here at the bottom, um, we've got our exposure times. Um, also our layer height is crazy high def. So before we had our, our layers at 0.2, which is pretty standard for FDM. But for this one, since we have resin and uh, light curing, we can do 0.05. That's just crazy, crazy high detail. So these are gonna look fantastic. And then now you would just save your .ctb or whatever your file extension would be for your resin printer. And then you can go to your thing, go to G code and just save that um, inside of that folder. And now you could take your SD card or your thumb drive and take that file we just saved and plug it into your resin printer and print out these crazy cool designs and then just pop them off your print bed and admire your hard work that you've done. You are now a 3D print designer. Good job.